What's up, Thenx Athletes? It's Chris Herrio. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to gain size and build muscle without weights. Now, using weights is a great way to build muscle, but it's not the only way to build muscle. And for whatever reason, why you may not have access to weights, it should not be an excuse to not be building muscle. There's many things that you can do when you're training and when you're not training that will help you build muscle that don't require weights. So when you don't have access to weights or when you're not lifting, one thing that you can do is still increase the overload. Weight training is great for building muscle and size because it's easy to lift a heavier weight to increase your overload while you're training. But you can do the same thing and create the same effect by increasing the amount of body weight that you use on a body weight exercise. For example, you can start with elevated push-ups, then move on to regular push-ups, which has more of an overload, more body weight being applied onto this exercise for each rep because of the angle. And then you can move on to planche push-ups, which use your entire body weight for each rep. Just like using heavier weights, you can increase the overload by using harder progressions that apply more body weight to an exercise. Another thing you can do is implement more eccentric training into your workout routines. With eccentric training, you're using more time under tension during an exercise, as well as being able to control a heavier weight for an exercise, which is gonna make you a whole lot stronger. As I always say, working the negative or the eccentric portion of an exercise is always gonna eventually get you the concentric. If you continue to practice negative pull-ups, eventually you'll be able to do pull-ups. If you keep practicing negative one-arm pull-ups, eventually you'll get the one-arm pull-up. And like with any other exercise, it's gonna get you stronger. Another thing you can do is start using more plyometrics or explosive training. Adding plyometric or explosive exercises will not only improve your athletic abilities, but will also recruit more fast twitch fibers and engage more muscle mass, which is definitely gonna help you build more muscle and improve your size. You're also gonna be simultaneously burning more fat than normal exercises. Your caloric intake is a big factor on gaining size and of course, getting enough protein as protein is the building blocks for muscle. And having a caloric surplus will help you gain weight. You just wanna make sure that you're using healthy foods and you're not overdoing it. Oftentimes, if we're gaining weight really fast, the majority of that is not muscle, it's actually fat and water retention. So keep it clean and don't go crazy on the calories and you're gonna be building some solid muscle. And last but not least is trying to reach hypertrophy, tearing your muscle fibers and allowing them to grow back thicker and stronger. And the best way to do that without weights is by using high reps, which will also increase the time under tension. And of course, make sure you're focusing on each muscle that you're not neglecting your back, your abs, your chest, your legs. Not only will this improve you as an athlete, it's gonna help you with muscle imbalancements as well as preventing injury. It's also gonna help you look more muscular and you're gonna be building more muscle in all other areas. And with that said, now it's time to put all of that into practice. We're gonna be doing a workout routine that incorporates all these training techniques, working out every muscle in our body without weights. Now to properly follow along, make sure you download the Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store, open up to the YouTube workout section, find this workout routine, and you're ready to get started. If you come across any exercise that you can't do, don't feel discouraged and don't worry. I'm gonna be giving you an alternative beginner progression that engages the same muscles and will eventually build your strength to being able to do the exercise that I'm doing. And with that said, the first exercise we're gonna be getting into is gonna be dips, engaging our chest and our triceps. Now dips can be done from home by putting two chairs together and if this exercise is still too difficult, you can always work on your bench dips. But by doing dips, we're increasing the overload by using our entire body weight for each rep. And also while doing this exercise, you can really focus on your negatives, which will help you build more muscle. So let's go ahead and go for 12 reps. Let's come down, focus and control. All right, there we have the first exercise, dips. Now moving on to the second exercise, focusing on our chest and our triceps, we're gonna go for push-ups. So let's get down to the ground. And to apply a muscle building technique, we're gonna go for hypertrophy. So I wanna do high reps. If you can, go for 30 reps. And if you can't, just max out as many as you can. And it would be great to try to complete 30 within as little rest as possible. Let's go for it. All right, there we have push-ups. 
with a high number of repetitions, helping us reach hypertrophy. Now, of course, if you're having trouble reaching 30 push-ups or you can't do push-ups, you can always go for elevated push-ups or doing as many as you can regular push-ups and then finishing the remainder in elevated push-ups. Now, the next exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be pull-ups, which engage your back and your biceps. And when doing pull-ups, you can apply the explosive technique. And because you're using your entire body weight for each repetition, you're increasing the overload from the amount of weight you may be using when you're just using weights. You wanna to try to do these pull-ups as perfect as possible, but since we're applying the explosive technique, you wanna also reach the bar as explosive as you can. Let's go for 12 reps. All right, there we have pull-ups. Now, if you're having trouble with this exercise, a great progression would be to do jumping pull-ups or do Australian pull-ups. Both of these progressions use less body weight than pull-ups, which will make it more manageable to do more reps and help you focus more on your form. Now, moving on to the next exercise, engaging our back and our biceps, that's gonna be jumping pull-ups. And this exercise is really gonna help us focus on the negative contraction, as well as reach hypertrophy, because we should be jumping right into these right after pull-ups. So let's go ahead and go for 10 reps. You're gonna jump up, reach the top, Focus on the negative. All right, there we have jump negative pull-ups. And now we're ready to move on to the next muscle group, which is gonna be shoulders. And I always say, one of my favorite exercises for building big shoulders is gonna be handstand push-ups. Now, of course, that's an advanced exercise that uses your entire body weight. So of course, if you can't do handstand push-ups, I want you either doing elevated pike push-ups or an even easier progression would be pike push-ups. Both of these use less body weight for each rep, but simulate the same movement path and engage the same muscles. Work on those and you're gonna be developing your strength to reach handstand push-ups. For a complete breakdown on how to learn handstand push-ups, check out my video, five moves to master handstand push-ups. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for 10 repetitions of handstand push-ups, and I want you to go for 10 repetitions for the progression that challenges you, either elevated pike push-ups or pike push-ups. Let's go for it. All right, there we have handstand push-ups. Like I always say, one of the best exercises for your shoulders. Now we're gonna be moving into more full body legs with this next exercise, jump over burpees. So find something that you can jump over. If you're just getting started, use something really small, like a water bottle. Then work your way up in height and width as you become more comfortable with this exercise. I'm gonna go ahead and use this box. We're gonna go for 10 repetitions. There we have the jump over burpees. Now this is an explosive exercise. So if you haven't had prior training, you should definitely start small with this exercise, jumping over something like a water bottle. And you can also choose to do a more beginner version of the burpee. You'll be able to build your strength up with that and eventually be able to do explosive burpees. Now we're ready to move on to the last exercise, engaging our abs, hanging knee raises. And one of the best ways to increase the overload when we're training abs and we're not using weights is to hang while doing abdominal exercises as it's gonna require more body weight for your abs to lift. So we're gonna go ahead, find a place to hang. You're gonna lift up by your knees to a 90 degree angle and come right back down. Let's go for 15 reps. Here we go. You wanna do this as controlled as possible.
Really crunch when you get to the top. Really squeeze your abs as hard as you can. Last ones, two, and one. All right, there we have it, the last exercise, hanging knee raises for your abdominals. It's also gonna keep the muscles in your arms fired up, helping you to reach hypertrophy for the next round. So if you're able to complete this routine with me, congratulations, you're on your way to building size and muscle without weights. And of course, a lot of these techniques you can apply to your weight training as well to help you build muscle even faster. Now doing one round of this is a great first start, but you definitely wanna keep going with this routine, eventually being able to do two to three rounds more for a total of three to four sets for a complete workout routine and to benefit the most from this workout. But of course, that takes time, work on it, eventually you'll be able to do two rounds, eventually you'll be doing three in no time. And with that said, if you enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you want the next video to be about, and share this video with a friend that's trying to gain some size or build some muscle. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed because I post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time, and if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free Thenix gear. For more of my content during the week, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Almost every single post, I always do some type of giveaway. And if you're enjoying the music on this channel, make sure you're following me on SoundCloud. That's soundcloud.com slash Chris Harriot. You can also find all my music on all other music platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Instagram, and all other music platforms. And with that said, I'll see you next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out.